Hi, you're with Phone Arena and in the next couple of minutes we're going to introduce the Acer B-Touch E100 to you, the most unsophisticated handset in Acer's latest lineup of Windows phones. This is an affordable device and the manufacturer has made certain compromises, say the lack of Wi-Fi support and mediocre build quality. The phone looks likeable but feels relatively cheap in your hand, plus the lack of attention to detail is obvious. Unlike with the Samsung Omnia Lite, B7300 and HTC Touch 2 that happen to be its major rivals. The B-Touch E100 is equipped with 3.2 inch resistive display with native resolution of 240 by 400 pixels. Its overall sensitivity is good, but the image quality is absolutely nothing to write home about. What's worse, the screen is virtually unusable in direct sunlight. The buttons surrounding the 5 directional pad are not raised but have clearly pronounced travel. The navigational pad allows for circular motions, similarly to the HP iPad 614 and iPod. Just like the Acer B-Touch E200 and uh, Neo Touch S200, the B-Touch E100 sports perfunctory personalization of the standard interface of Windows Mobile 6.5. The home screen consists of 9 shortcuts and 6 of them can be changed to your liking. The other personalized elements are the phone book, dialing screen, calendar and file manager. As a whole, Acer's personalization of the standard Windows Mobile 6.5 interface is nothing spectacular. But at least, it is not annoying to look at. Plus, we have seen worse. The Acer B-Touch E100 comes with pre-installed applications for Facebook, Flickr, YouTube and Blogger. Unfortunately, the social networking side of the Acer B-Touch E100 is just as disappointing as with the B-Touch E200 and New Touch S200. As we mentioned in the beginning, the B-Touch E100 lacks built-in Wi-Fi, so you will have to rely on its 3G connectivity to surf the web using the standard browser that comes with the operating system, i.e. Internet Explorer 6. It is actually good at opening pages and delivers partial flash support, but the low screen resolution means you will have to zoom in and out on things quite frequently. We would advise you to get Opera Mobile 10, because it loads pages much faster. We are most impressed with the multimedia capabilities of the B-Touch E100. Media Player is the standard application of the operating system and plays DivX, XVID and H264 coded videos, with resolution of 800 by 480 pixels and high bitrate without a hitch. We even managed to play clips with resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels, but the stuttering issues became evident. The only thing we don't like is the image quality, but the problem is entirely due to the mediocre display. As a telephone, however, the Acer B-Touch E100 disappoints profoundly, because the ink or quality it delivers is mediocre. During the tests, our colors were quite often unable to catch on to what we were saying, while their voices sounded muffled on our end, not to mention the annoying crackling. The handset performs quite well in terms of operational speed and software stability, but these cannot make up for the appalling in-call quality. All told, perhaps the only advantage of the Acer B-Touch E100 over its rivals is the proper playback of DivX and XVid videos, with extremely high resolution. This alone, however, is not enough to make it a preferable to the Samsung Omnia Lite and HTC Touch 2, because the latter two are better in every other respect.